Hi, thanks for stopping by. I'm Angel, and I'm going to tell you 12 ways that you can make money with no money. I know everybody always says that it takes money to make money, but I disagree because I have many times made money with no money. It's true that when you have money and if you're good at making money, that it's easier to make more money if you have money. But if you don't have any money, here's some ways that you can go about getting some. So, number one is yard work. I have done a lot of yard work, landscaping and yard work. Uh, people's yards get messy. The, the tree leaves fall, the branches get scraggly, things grow, weeds grow. And if you have any skill in that or you don't have any skill in that and you want to learn, you can literally go door to door or walking around a neighborhood. Preferably, you know, find a, like a nice neighborhood and or one with a lot of trees or, you know, stuff in the yard that needs help and then uh and then you know ask people either leave a note on their door which be careful with that there's some regulations but you can often not and not in a mailbox by the way there's laws against that but you can leave a note on a door or on a gate somebody's gate and, and or you the best way is to make eye con you know person to person actual contact with somebody if, if they're outside my mom has hired several people when she's outside starting to do some yard work and then they just happen to come by and be like hey for 20 or 50 bucks, I'll help you with that. And she's happy to happy to have the help, thrilled that the universe gave her the help when she needed it. And the person makes some quick and easy money helping her out. So that's number one, yard work. Number two is dog walking and dog poop cleaning up. You could combine them or you could do separate. There's dogs. People like dogs. We have a lot of dogs and not everybody has time to clean up their yards after them and or walk them regularly. Or sometimes they walk them a little, but they'd love to have somebody actually take them for a longer run. There's a lot of different parameters. And again, the best way is to you can post, you know, on your social media and or just put the word out there, but maybe just walk around or go to the dog park or the vet or somewhere and uh, put the word out there that you're looking to get paid to help people with their dogs. And that's a great way that's common, at least here in the U.S., a lot of people with dogs that need help. So that was number two, dog walking. Number three is elderly care. There's a lot of people getting older all the time. There's a growing market, actually, in elderly care. And there's a whole spectrum from just coming by once a week or once a month to help, like, lift a heavy thing or crawl under the house or up in the attic or do things that, that they can't do anymore so well and they need a, a little bit of a hand with. Or there's, um, you know, staying with somebody um, for 10 hours at a time because they can't be left alone and their family pays people to, to come, you know, uh, it's not babysitting, but it's elderly sitting, basically. Um, and those don't pay the greatest, but they, they pay decent and there's, a, there's almost always a need for that. So if you... I personally, I love elderly people and becoming one now, but even since I was younger, I have always liked elderly people. And so um, and that's been some rewarding work for me over the years. Number four is housekeeping. Kind of similarly, people need help with their housekeeping. And if you're good at it or you want to get good at it, again, there's skills that you can learn to get more efficient at it so that you can bid on a job and get paid pretty decent hourly wages. And right now with Airbnb picking up, I'm doing a little Airbnb right now and realizing that that's going to increase the market. There's going to open up a whole new market for help with housekeeping. But there's always a need for that. And a, and a great little niche that was one of my favorites is when people are getting ready to sell a house and usually everything is moved out and it's empty and then they need it cleaned really well and sometimes painted and all those kind of things. That's really uh Eat pretty easy. I mean, it's it's hard. Don't get me wrong. It's hard work, but it's it's a great niche and it pays pretty well. So uh, again, all these ways that you're that you can make money with no money, you're gonna need a good attitude. You're gonna need to be able to withstand the no's and not get discouraged. In fact, every, consider every no as a one step closer to a yes. So. Don't get discouraged. Just know that you're going to get some no's as you put yourself out there and ask, but that um, if you don't get discouraged and you keep learning from the no and or just keep your positive mindset, just know that that no just means that wasn't the right match, but that's one step, one no closer to a yes. That was number four, housekeeping. Number five is 
Tutoring. If you have any kind of skill, if you can read and write, or you can do math, or you play an instrument, or you draw, any of those things um, can be to, can give you income if you want to tutor somebody else. So um, it depends on the skill set that you're tutoring on as to where, where you would go to look for those clients. But um, basically any skill you have, you could get paid to teach to someone else. And, and there's a lot of different venues for that. But but one-on-one -on -one tutoring is a, is a great way to make money. I've both gotten paid to give beginner lessons like in guitar and I have paid for like help with math when I was in college. So tutoring is a great way. That's number six or number five rather. Number six is busking. Busking is is performing on the street basically and um, it's a great way to to hone in your your skill set your talent it's a great way to uh, get over yourself and because it's it can be humbling it's a great way to connect with people to really practice that in the moment human to human connection one of my favorite stories about busking is by a woman named Amanda Palmer she has a TED talk where she talks about when she was the 10 foot tall bride where she dressed in a bridal gown <clears throat> and painted her face like a mime and stood on a crate so that she was very tall and she would stand in some, I think it was in New York or somewhere very populated uh, with a lot of people going by and she would stand perfectly still until someone put any money in her container and then she would give them a flower and make eye contact and she talks about how profound that human to human interaction became and how she she was able to count on a regular income from doing that after she got to do it consistently. and. Um, all of these things take a positive mindset and consistency. You're really going to have to be willing to get through the no's and get better at it and so that you can get to the yeses. But you could make money today with pretty much any of these ideas. So they don't take any money, but they do take consistent practice to hone in and, and make more money, you know, to really make a living at them. But if you don't give up and you're consistent, I know you'll do it. So... That was number six, busking. Number seven is babysitting or childcare. A lot of people, parents need help with their children. They need them picked up from school or daycare when they can't get them in time because they have work. They need they need just a break while they go out for date night. They need uh, you know help with maybe a combination of the things that we covered earlier, like housekeeping and and um, tutoring. But make sure you charge a little extra for those if you can, you know, if you can, I mean, depending, those are marketable skills. So if you're throwing them in for free, then at least acknowledge that that's part of, uh, that's kind of the bonus value that they're getting with your childcare services. So childcare, if you're good with children or you want to find out if you're good with children, that's something that you can get into with no money. You got to put the word out there. I would maybe, um, you know, Look, I would I would probably post online at this point because that's me. But um, maybe through daycares, through schools, you know, connecting with parents in a respectful way that's not creepy, and uh, and letting them know that you're that you're available for childcare services. That that's a way you can make money with no money. Number eight is tree services. I've made some good money with tree services, and um, you could you could learn from somebody like I did. I apprenticed under a guy, or you could probably read some books and find out some basic skills like how to make your cuts, what time of year, what what you know, of some basics about about your common landscaping plants or trees in your area. It can be it can be physically demanding and dangerous because sometimes there's power tools involved if you're doing big scale pruning and ropes and you need at least two people team to really to really safely bring down big branches but you could start with small services like just uh, pruning hedges and or pruning you know uh, smaller trees and removing the branches or brush um, for without you could probably borrow a couple of tools if you needed to at first and then again just I would go door to door or down and through a neighborhood looking for work that needs done and putting out the word that uh, that you're available and that's a good way to make some money with no money. Number nine is painting. People need help painting. <laughs> I need help painting right now, but I can't afford to hire you. <laughs> so I'm doing it myself. But um, painting is, again, physically demanding for the most part, but it's it can be really good work because it's, it's something that's just reoccurringly happening all the time. So if you develop skill in it, you're going to always be able to get work, basically, because people paint a lot and uh 
and it's hard work. And, and in order to get like right now, I'm trying to get my whole house painted and it's taking me forever because you get tired and you don't have time to do, you know, you have to tape all your lines and then paint it takes a while. So, um, people often hire help for painting. And if you put the word out there, like maybe just at your local home Depot, or again with, with online posting or an ad in Craigslist, perhaps you can get some work as a painter. Number 10 is online. Uh, I have an eBay store. I've had an eBay store for 16 years at this point, and I have an Etsy store. And and those are both ways that I make money online. And these days, also, Facebook has some in, uh, good ways of making money, or you could open a website uh, with Shopify or Wix. I tried Shopify for a little bit, and I made a few bucks. I, I might try it again, but anyway, maybe I'll put some links down there below so you can check that out. And um. Yeah, online, if you have the internet, which you probably do if you're watching me, that could be an excellent way. You could either get into like an actual business like I have where you're really developing uh, your brand in a certain market, or you could just sell off the stuff that you have around that you don't need and start to make a few bucks. Um, or you could get free stuff uh, like from FreeCycle or Craigslist or yard sale leftovers and then sell that on eBay. Or you could start to buy some things once you start to make a few bucks and then sell them at a higher price. But uh, but to start with, with no money, you can just start selling the things you have or you can get some free stuff from Craigslist or FreeCycle. You'd be surprised if you haven't looked already how much free stuff, people give away free stuff. So if you need to make some money with no money, just start keeping your eye out. And before you know it, you know, you could get into... It's also like you could get there's sometimes free antique furniture that you could fix up a little or sometimes not even fix up, maybe reupholster. That would cost a few bucks. but um, And then sell that like on consignment, your local furniture store. That just came to me. But anyway, um, online, that's not online. That's, that's actually closer. Online is number 10. And what I just mentioned with the furniture is actually closer to what I have written down for number 11, which is Craigslist and free cycle and basically physically getting things for free and then selling them either like in a furniture store on commission or sometimes there's some indoor f uh, flea markets where you could, you know, for a $10 booth fee or something or a percentage of what you sell, put your stuff in there. So, um, yeah, there's a whole free section of Craigslist where you can find stuff for free. There's freecycle.org where you can find stuff for free and post what you want even. And then if you if you're creative and a hustler and a and got that open mindset and don't let no get in the way, don't let your failures or this or the, you know, or the things that you have to learn along the way discourage you from pushing forward, then you can make money online pretty well increasingly increasing ways in fact so uh, or I mean sorry that was that was number 10 number 11 is you can make money physically through um, through getting free stuff so also like after a yard sale a lot of times people have some boxes of stuff left over that they'll just either leave on the curb or sometimes they'll post a Craigslist ad saying it's for free but you might just even go to yard sales and give people you know, your card and say hey after your yard sale if you want me to come pick up your stuff for free or even you know, maybe you could, if you have a vehicle, you could charge to haul it away, 50 bucks hauling service. That's a, another thing. If you have a vehicle, which I, that's a bonus. I didn't uh, include in my list, but hauling, there's money in that. People need stuff hauled and, and you could haul stuff for 50 to 100 bucks a load to the dump or go take, sometimes you get good stuff that you could then sell on Craigslist. So that's number 11, selling stuff that you get for free as a way to make money with no money. And number 12, last but not least, is affiliate marketing. That's what I'm doing with the links down below. I get a percentage of things that people buy um, if they click on those links. And actually some of the links down below are to my own. I have some booklets and to my own eBay store. But also I do increasingly some affiliate marketing because um, actually everybody does. Oprah does it. Um, you know, all stores and then the other the flip side is if you develop a business or a product yourself you might look into um, joining an affiliate program so that you can have other people sell your item and you give them a, a five or a ten percent commission and or more so this they range anywhere from like one percent to fifty percent commissions do but the average these days is um, right around five to ten percent on a lot of things and you can become an Amazon affiliate. You can uh, sign up with some of the big conglomerate affiliate programs that have all kinds of businesses under them. You can go to uh, like Shopify or Wix or any of these individual um, businesses that then find their affiliate link. Almost all of them have one. And um, 
yeah, there's eBooks that will give you a commission. There's uh, pretty much endless, endless, like it's just expanding all the time. So lots of ways to make some money helping to sell other people's products, basically. And you can do that passively or actively and make money with no money that way. So there you go. That's 12 ways that you can make money with no money. I hope you enjoyed that. I've used all of those ways. I've made money with every one of those 12 ways. Not tons, some more than others, but over the years, I've been self-employed my whole life, and I'm working on now building a brand and a, and a company that, that works even without me, but for the years that I was a single parent raising my child as he, as before he grew up and going to school, those ways really served me well, and I hope they help you out too. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, peace, prosperity, and possibilities.